हेलो आई एम गौरी वेलकम टू माई चैनल आर्टिकुलेट विथ गौरी काम्बोज फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली टू ऑल माई व्यूअर्स एंड ऑल माई सब्सक्राइबर्स द चैनल हैज कम्पलीटेड वन होल ईयर आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक यू फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ माई हार्ट फॉर द सपोर्ट यू हैव शोन मी ड्यूरिंग दिस जर्नी लाइक वट यू सी then watch the video till the very end and don't forget to press that like button i'm i'm sure you would love to recreate these for your own home a simple yet effective idea let's see how we can make this Hello dear friends today's video is going to be very very special and i'm extremely excited to show you my new project my new idea so just before diwali i always like to create something very decorative something with lights for my friends and family quickly let me list out some of the things that we are going to need in case i forget something i will mention it later on during the project the most important part of this idea is the frame of the lamp for which i'm going to use these sieves these are very readily available in the market this particular one i got for just rupees 20 in uh, the local market so one sieve per lamp next we will need a nail to make a aperture a hammer too of course a glue gun and most importantly Uh, some cut out pieces of fiberglass this is absolutely transparent you just need to remove the film on both sides and you can see that it works like glass but a lot better i got it from my local glass shop and had it cut to the size of my sieve fiberglass is better since it's sturdier doesn't break and is lightweight to give you a quick preview what i want to do is to fix the stained glass after decorating it on two sides of the sieve or the frame fixing it with the help of araldite finally any pattern of your choice to trace onto the fiber glass before painting it with glass colors i'm going to use these colors these are glass colors and uh, they say glass color solvent based they are intense intermixable rich colors so i'm going to use this to create a design on the fiber glass finally either one could just hang this particular lamp onto the wall directly because i'll be removing this mesh that is inside or another option would be to hang it so for that i'm using some old rakhis or if you have you could use a metallic chain of this kind we are going to need some gold color So this is a uh, uh, oil based gold color which will go on top over here as well as on the inside it. So let's get started. So making a puncture over here so that this can be suspended. I've traced everything out with a fine tip permanent marker. Now with my oil based gold color I'm going to paint the frame on both the inner and the outer surfaces. At least 2 to 3 coats are required with time to dry between coats. glass liner this is a black glass liner i wish i had a transparent liner but i don't have it so i'm going to use the black one if any one of you wants the pattern that i traced out please message me directly already so i have to do it on the second piece as well i have both sides ready now with the liner done it 
it'll take at least a couple of hours for it to dry completely this is the finished look of the frames after a couple of coats one coat dried and then i applied a second one and this is the final look i think i'll still need to do a little bit of touch up but i think i'll do that later on so the frame is ready now that the liner is all dry we are going to color this particular piece of glass fiber glass with any colors of our choice so i'm beginning with yellow sides are absolutely dry left them out overnight now we are going to mix some gold color this is with the medium and the fabric will acrylic gold color it's going to color the outline in gold Since I'm making five of these, I have so many of them colored. So this is how this is how it looks once it's done. So now we're going to. I have one for the front and one for the back. So we're going to assemble this. So to assemble this, first I have to make sure that this is completely vertical, and I'm able to align my aperture over here that I've made so that it can align straight. So I'm just making sure that this is how it looks, and then I'm going to use some arrow light to. fix this for it to dry. I've let the lanterns dry for nearly 7-8 hours and it's all fixed very well I think at least. It looks quite firm so now the only step that's left is to make something so that we can hang it. Of course it can be suspended like this against the wall by a nail but in case one wants to use it as a hanging lamp, lantern then I have some rakhi over here but a string or a metal chain can also work. to create a kind of a base with the help of the glue gun so that the lamp doesn't roll over when it is placed straight like this because of the base it stays absolutely sturdy as well as to seal the suspension so i've used a little metallic piece over here and fixed it directly into the frame so this is sturdy and will not come down to light the lamps i'm using small led candles Their light is mild but they are safe better than using tea lights
it's lighted. The lamps can be placed on the surface, hung on the wall by a nail or suspended by the string. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Bye. Happy Diwali once more.